Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Manti, and in today's video, I want to show you that with Cultist, I think uh, Cultist is forgotten, but with Cultist, you can reach even 3 minutes into the death wave without having support units at max with level 15J. Uh, as for the equipment, of course, uh, I will show you for the riding foot, he doesn't have uh, techno on his uh, armor uh, and pretty standard level 14 level 14 I think we watched already that player in the previous video uh, so yeah I'll just quickly run through the talents uh, pretty standard the same and for the dryad the same and level 11 HQ uh, only left side talents both of them as for the cultist player level 15 j level 16 chainmail chainmail is very very uh, is very a very good armor to have in my opinion especially if you have other faction bonuses in your deck um, he plays sword because you play sword with cultist at only level 14 level 11 amulet of growth so as you can see it is not the best equipment that you can have uh, level 4 J item with 4 hammers, quite good uh, for this level of account. As for the talents, uh, left, right, left, pretty standard DPS side of cultist. Uh, Harlequin, left, left, because it's level 11. Dryad, uh, right, right, left, pretty standard. Frost Wards, uh, right, right, and class talent to my surprise. And for the uh, summoner, right and right, just because you want to have that ability um, of your summoner. Yeah, let's jump into the game. I will show you first wave, then we will show how both players set up their board, and then we will jump into like uh, two minutes of the death wave to see how both players uh, finished their game. So yeah, let's jump into it. Hey you! Yes you! Do you still buy things directly in the game client? Come on, you know it's much better to purchase on the market. It's so simple. You just go into the Rushwell official market or you can just click in the link in the description. Choose any item you want and after that if you want to support me you can use my creator code MANTI and enter any message you want to me. You have plenty of payment methods there as well. That's one of the best ways to become even better player than you are right now. For all those who support me, big thanks guys and stay awesome. All right, and we are in the game. As we can see, both players are at 8,000 trophies. Uh, you can already see that uh, the cultist player has only one amulet of growth tile uh, in the middle. Uh, fortunately, he has one uh, of his amulet of growth tiles in the corner so that he uh, will be able to merge his, uh, his units to get that bonus damage later into the game. Uh, for the riding foot, he has quite good tiles in my opinion. Yeah, he has two double tiles, very, very lucky. In my opinion, there is a very good place for his knight statue uh, to buff both of his double tile, one J tile and one Owls of Growth. And if he fit, is feeling fancy, I would place one over here as well. Uh, or maybe here in the middle, doesn't matter, uh, to buff uh, two more tiles. And yeah, uh, it's not much here to talk about. Uh, I think the cultist player really got unlucky with his tile, especially that he plays J with J item. Uh, and he got only one tile in the middle, pretty unlucky. Uh, he got lucky only with the fact that the uh, witch tile is not in the middle, because then I think it's just unplayable. Uh, I would just surrender the game instantly. That's why I'm not a huge cultist player because it is very luck dependent um, with your tiles. So yeah, uh, we are finishing the first wave. Let's see. I think there is not going to be any problems uh, with killing the first boss because yeah, you can always press J ability even if your board sucks. Um, so yeah, let's jump into the moment where both players are fully set up on their board and see how, it, how does it look. All right, and we are here at the wave eight. As we can see, let's talk about uh, the cool display first. He has all of his Heartbringers in the middle, tier seven with full sword stacks. He, does, he did very, very well with that. Um, all he has to do now is get even more the cultist stacks. He has 32 currently. Uh, just like you can, you could see, he was holding that cleanse talent uh, from cultist to cleanse his uh, units. 
from negative effects and both players did just fine with the bosses as for the riding foot uh, he has one tier 7 one tier 6 and one tier 4 uh, like I told you uh, he will most likely build a nice statue here just to buff all of his tiles uh, I don't think he will place another one uh, not at, at least not now um, so yeah he will just have to get more stacks he has only 32 so not even that maximum 40 stacks and uh, he has 23 witches thanks to Harley Quinn of course uh, so that's quite all right and yeah uh, cultist players has have already uh, 46 uh, souls gathered so that's really good in my opinion uh, entering the death wave uh, so yeah, let's jump into like two minutes of Death Wave and we'll see how both players finish their game. Alright, and we are at two minutes into the Death Wave. As we can see, Cultist player is struggling just a little bit uh, with handling the monsters. Uh, as for the Riding Hood player, uh, he is doing just fine. He has uh, two tier 7 Riding Hoods and one tier 6. Uh, I think it's the, the standard thing for him to go for. Uh, he has uh, pretty much mastered this uh, this J Riding Hood deck. He was not getting hit. As we can see, Kultus player is getting hit. Maybe he can recover. Uh, he needs one more of the Kultus. Uh, merge those. Come on, come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh no, he's getting unlucky. He will get. Oh no, he got hit. That's painful. Uh, now he recovered coolly. Not sure if it's enough for him to survive. Uh, Grandmaster is gonna mess it, him up, but he didn't even have to hit because Bandler already hit him. Uh, non nonetheless, I think three minutes and almost 30 seconds, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, three minutes, five seconds. All right. Uh, I think it is all right for the uh, for the account like that, it's not even max like a mock max rare hero, not even max equipment. His Harlequin is level 11, and it is crucial if you want to play units like Cultist or Monk to not get stuck on your board and get even more uh, of the units stacks. Uh, level 12 summoner only, uh, so this for three minutes I think is already a really good score. Uh, so yeah. Let me know down in the comments what did you think. Uh, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you are not subscribed, please subscribe right now. And of course, see you guys in the next video.